I always wanted. Like, I'm like telling you, nobody is actually perfect, but no, it's, perfect, but it's to me. He's it's just perfect. But he's like this, his bad side is like his good something side exceeds his bad. bad side. So yeah. Even the bad side is just something like you can manage. Can it's normal. It's, it it's, it's, no, it's normal. It's Don't you have bad side? Exactly. I think my own bad side is even worse. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now I am wondering what is really wrong with Bella. I am surprised. I am just surprised. This is somebody. Everyone out here is praying that she should get out of that toxic relationship she's in with Shags. But here is Bella. They have, see, they had a very serious fight early in the day. A serious fight that literally had Bella crying. She, it felt like she was wailing. Check out this video. Right, how, how am I against you because I complained? Like, no, 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 this is, this is actually fucked up. Like, how am I against you because I complained? I just think you guys are really good. Now here's somebody who's like he cannot even stand your cry. He can't be there to like he's just like, oh, what the hell is happening? I mean, why would somebody be crying like this? That's your man, your boyfriend, right? He really cannot stand you crying. He literally got you to that point where you literally had to cry. I mean, during the fight, they literally were going to call it off. And of course, this fight that he had also got Doni into another mess because he was doing literally staying on her own. And of course, Shex came to meet her and said, Hey, Doni, look at what I need to talk to you. Look at what your friend is doing. And of course, Bella also came into that same room and said, Doni, I need to talk to you. Blah, blah. And you know, Doni became the counselor. She literally sat there listening to these two people pour out their grievances to her, right? And then, you, of course, we heard Cheesy now saying that Doni is always putting out mouth in people's conversations and all of that. That's another conversation I'm going to bring in this video. So well, here we see Bella, right? Remember that Bella said at some point that she's grateful to God for bringing Shakes her way, that Shakes is you know, the man of her dreams, and she's grateful to God for that. After that, they've had a series of fights. And then we now see Bella. Bella is saying that, you know what, she can never find anybody like Shakes again. Everything I've always wanted. Like, I'm like telling you, nobody is actually perfect, but, no, it's perfect, but it's to me, it's it. just perfect. But it's like this. Now, this conversation got so bad, or her statements got so really bad and cringing that she said, that, You know what? Even if Shakes has bad habits, all the terrible habits that Shakes has, she can cope with them. That it's the same habits that she's really that's breaking her are the same habits and the same patterns that she thinks she can cope with. She doesn't mind. Everybody has a bad side. Even Chichi was like, ah, you two, you have a bad side. Everybody has a bad side. And she's saying, that, you know what, she can cope with the bad sides of shags. Nobody is actually perfect, but... No, it's perfect, but it's to me. It's just perfect. But he's like, this, his bad side is like... His good something side exceeds his, so bad. his bad side, so yeah. Even the bad side is just something like you can manage. It's normal. It's a big deal. It's a no, it's not my, don't show a bad side. Exactly. I think my own bad side is even worse. Now we now see Chichi also talking about the fact that she really loves Deji. Like she really, whatever she feels for Deji is very real, and that she hopes that Deji also feels the same for her. Now this brings me to the conclusion of never judge a book by its cover. Here are two beautiful ladies who have come into this house who are here to play for hundred million, and all they can think about is a guy. A guy that probably will get out. I can assure you that these relationships will not last. Take it from me. Shags and Bella will never last. I, I mean, I see it. It looks like in one week they'll be over. Because when she comes outside, her family members will call her to the side and inject some, some sense into her head. Because whatever she's doing right now, when she gets outside the house and watches the video, she's not going to like Shags. Because this guy has literally cornered her. You know, he has, he has, you know, he has fabricated, I, I'm looking for the right word to use. He has confirmed her brain to think that he is the 100 million that she's yet to get. And here's Bella, beautiful girl, beautiful lady, thinking in this type of way. Now, like I said earlier, doing having you know been like the therapist for shags and of course bella now had to sit with you know cheesy and cheesy was telling her i see you are the person who keeps going into people's relationship business and doing was really emotionally that because of course there seems to be like a very fantastic friendship bring between herself and cheesy but here's cheesy the person she's really liking as a friend telling her that you're the one who's doing rubbish and of course doing is telling him that see these people literally came to meet me every time i found myself in an emotional or in a relational coaching 
space, right? As a therapist, like, you know, Bella will call her. That is the people that bring their problems to her and she never goes to meet people. You're my friend. How is he right? Tell me. You, you so, talk to people? No, 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 no. That, that's, that's going to piss me off. Oh, to honestly, that's going to piss me off. I, was I, in, like I finished you. taking my bath. Mm -hmm. I was in the room. I was getting dressed. Mm -hmm. Shakes, I didn't even know what happened. He came to me doing this. What was I supposed to do in that situation? I stand up and say, please. I think the cheesy is doing his writing job excellently well because here is the girl who you would have thought, okay, maybe would have been can even try to ship. And he's literally damning whatever emotional thing he's having, right? Because I don't know if he feels something for, for doing it. And he's really going after the girl, trying to just poke her, telling her that, you know, you're doing rubbish. Even though we also know that, you know, Doing is not necessarily going to meet those people, but they're the ones coming to meet her. But this thing really got to doing that she literally had to go and meet Shags and Bella in a very shaky voice. She felt like she was crying and she had to ask him to see, come guys, was I the one that came to meet you? Didn't you guys come to meet me? I don't know how do I what is how do I draw the line? How do I draw? I'm literally sitting down on my own doing my makeup and then Shex comes to meet me and he says, doing this. So what do I do in that situation? Do I say, Shex, please don't speak to me? And like I don't even understand the solution. This is we eventually saw Doing go to bed literally because she was just angry, right? And she just walked into the room, lay in her bed and covered herself, right? Now I would like to say something. I would like to just give Doing one advice. And here's the advice I want to give Doing. I would like her to take a clue from Miracle from the past season right see gobi i think there was toby and there was cc these two people were in a really it felt like this in fact cc felt like the shakes of that relationship right they had back and forth it was a crazy one between toby and cc and at some point they brought their conversation to where miracle was miracle was the winner of that season guess what miracle did miracle took to his heels no 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 no, no, no. she's not saying you want to say though no. she's not saying you want to say no. So what you just saw is what I think doing should do every time they come. Just take a walk, move. Don't act like you're listening because guess what? People are still going to talk. It's about four more weeks to the end of the show, right? But guess what? There will still be a lot of relational problem in the house. Mr. and Mrs. Ikui, that's Shex and Bella, they will still be there. They will still go to fight. They will still break up and make up, right? But for every time they do that, it would mean that you're also going to be in the midst of their troubles, okay? So I think that doing any time they bring the conversation to her, should take a walk and get out of their presence. Finally, on this video, I'm going to leave you with a video, a shocking video of Giddy Fire and Diana. Who would have thought that Giddy Fire and Diana will make up outside of the house? Because guess what? Diana already said, she had told Rachel, you know, that never will I have anything to do with Giddy Fire again. I'm not going to talk to him. Not to happen between the both of us. But guess what? We see Diana and Giddy Fire in an interview, right? And literally, they were literally holding themselves and dancing. And that's it on this video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, so guess what? You get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and of course on TikTok, and follow me at the Femi Daniel. And until next time, I come away again very soon. It's bye for now.